Now you'll recall that I put the Iron Rock Off-Road Inner Axle Sleeve Kit in the Overlander's Front Dana 30. That created a little bit of problem when I wanted to install these aftermarket ex and outer axle seals because as you can see they're supposed to go in the axle tube for about an inch and a half. However, I did still have about a half inch shelf in there where I think I could make this work. So I used my caliper to measure the depth and decided I'd just cut off these axle seals. So I took them over on my buddy's lathe and trimmed them down. Now there's some debate as to the efficacy of these external axle seals and I'm, I'll tell you right up front these are no replacement for your inner axle seals. However, they do keep out a, a lot more water, debris, sand, and that sort of thing from getting inside the axle tube and then damaging your inner axle seal. So I picked these up off of eBay for about 30 bucks. I think they're a worthwhile investment and they're really easy to install. Now, I didn't have any confidence that they would stay in with just that little bit of half inch holding them in, so I decided to put them in, essentially glue them in, with some Loctite uh, gasket maker. And this seemed to work pretty good. And I packed them good and tight with axle grease. The Zerx fitting is going to be difficult to get to because of the Iron Rock off-road and C reinforcements that I welded on there. So I just packed them really good with, with uh, grease while I was putting them in. Now these, I opted for these because they're supposed to be rebuildable. You can see there there's a clip you can remove and to be able to replace the seal itself without having to remove the entire outer housing. And since I'm gluing mine in, I, I figured that was a better way to go. So now I've cleaned up my axle shafts really good. I gave them a good coat of grease top to bottom so that as I slid them in they wouldn't damage that new outer axle seal. I'm also putting some uh, anti-seize between the unit bearing and the knuckle so that if I ever do actually break an axle shaft out on the trail it's going to be quite a bit easier to get it out and replace it. All right, so that's installing outer axle seals on the Overlander. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next week.